Everybody's got to say yes or no. In the music business, it gets a little bit more complicated than that, right? And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about the idea of yes and what it takes to say yes, when you should say yes, and when you should say no. In general, everybody likes to say yes. Why? Because yeses, yeses are easy. Uh, they make people feel good. On the other hand, no's, no's are inherently uncomfortable. You say no enough times, people think you're being negative. They never think that maybe you're trying to do the right thing. You've got to be able to do your homework to evaluate the right yeses. For example, um, you're a young songwriter and you've been toiling away and you're trying to find some validation for your work. And somebody comes along that claims to be in the music business they are offering you some sweet deal that you are just so happy, so feeling good to have somebody acknowledging your work that you feel compelled to say yes. That yes could cost you a lot. The list of sad stories of people that got into horrible arrangements in the music business by saying yes to something that didn't make sense because they didn't do their homework is, is legendary. As your career gets further along, you need to know that when you say yes to somebody that, and you've done your homework and you're not doing it just because it feels good, you got to really, really mean it. And that means being professional. When we talk with our Incubus guys, we talk all the time about um, the ramifications of yes and, and the commitments that happen after you say yes. Being professional is something not to be underestimated. Talking about no, as a manager, I spend a lot of time saying no to people. When you analyze something and you're in the no position, people second guess you all the time. If you're gonna say no, you have to have conviction about it, you know? Because when you say no, people are gonna push back and they're gonna try to talk you out of it. And lots of times in the music business, the answer is no. So if that bothers you, you're gonna have a tough time guiding your career. The well-considered no always gets you a better yes. If you've been out drawing people to your gigs and now you're looking to play another club and you've been making money and you tell the promoter that I need to get 500 bucks, for example, um, because we're actually worth it. If that guy says, I'm not gonna do it, right? Then you have a decision to make. Do you go and lower your, your market value or do you say no in that moment and walk away from the gig you want. By walking away from that club owner and playing somewhere else, you'll find that very often you'll get a call back with the answer you want because that person probably has done his homework by now, has played the game with you and is ready to say yes. I know that people don't want to hear no. So around our world here, we very seldom come right out and say no. We say we'd love to, but the schedule doesn't work. You know, the guys are doing something else. Remember that people don't want to hear no, so be delicate, be artful about it. There are stages of your career. At the very beginning of your career, to the end of your career, the yeses and nos take on a shape. At the beginning of your career, I'm here to tell you folks, it's mostly yeses. Should I play with this band who's not perfect for me, but they draw a thousand people? Yes. Should I go and do an interview with this little tiny station or wait for the biggest radio station in the market? The answer is yes. Should I go on tour with this band who I don't really love, but are gonna be out there playing 40 cities? The answer is yes. And as you start to get toward the peak of your career and things are really going on, more opportunities will come at you than you can possibly deal with. And that's when you get a lot more no's in your career and where you need to be thoughtful. At the end of your career, you've now passed your moment and, and perhaps your career is now on the downside. I'm gonna say again that there's more yeses at the end. Whether you're at the beginning of your career, the end of the career, or the peak of your career, I'm here to tell you that if you're answering everything all yes, in all knows you've missed the point. It's somewhere in between there and you gotta be able to feel it out.